Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, I came on here to talk. Um, I, I just wait like a second or two, I guess. Okay, guys, so good morning. I'm coming on here with a message from the utmost high God for the believers because half of y'all watching me don't believe that the Lord talking to me here on Instagram. So for the people that do believe, hi, guys. Thank you for supporting me and God. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, so... This morning, I walked out of the house and I was in the ministry of um, listening. I think I need some more light. There we go. Of listening this morning and not being frustrated. <laughs> Getting into it with my brother over something petty. Let me, let me just go with a little side note. Now. <laughs> Yeah, me and my brother got into it so bad this morning. Um, I do a lot, and it looks like I don't do anything to my own um, in-house family members, but I do a lot, guys. I do a lot, and I get tired of cleaning after grown people. Like, I know they helping me out and stuff, but sometimes, like, it's okay to clean after yourself. So, long story short... Ooh, we got into it. So I don't know where this relationship is going to go with me and my brother, but I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray that the Holy Spirit falls upon him. I'm going to pray that he comes back and all kind of stuff. But anyway, so today's um, video is going to be on having daily communion. Now, I was talking to somebody and they felt like communion was satanic. They believe in God, but... They backslid and they're worshiping other stuff that they shouldn't be. So they feel like communion is satanic. And you know what? Before this person, I was dating a pastor, right? I was dating this pastor and he's, he's super anointed. He's walking with the Lord and stuff and he don't take communion. He just felt like, um... He just felt like he didn't have to. And it, and it, and it didn't, um, it definitely messes him up. I, I'm on the outside looking in and I can see how it messes, in, messes up your life. But to him, he didn't feel like it did anything to him. But I'm on the outside looking in so I can see a lot of little stuff. Like the enemy has attacked me so much I could smell that enemy from a from a, a, ooh, a second away from me. If you say anything that's not of love, if you say anything that's not of God, if you bringing up my past, I know the devil is in the, around you somewhere because nothing, none of that God would do or have the Holy Spirit say through somebody. That's how you know when the enemy is attacking you. It's not of God. If you hear something and that don't sound like God is saying, it's not love, it's not caring, it's not comforting, it's evil, it's messy, that's the devil. And how you know he'd be around and stuff. So, anyway, guys, Jesus died on the cross for us to be forgiven. When he, he died on the cross for us not to be in poverty. He died on the head. He died on the cross for us not to be in shame. But sometimes when you're going through certain tests and um, God is molding you and growing you, sometimes you're going through shame and um, sometimes it could be depression. It's painful. It could be very painful sometimes walking into your calling because of how God does things. And if you've walked with the Lord, if you've gotten as close as I've gotten to him, then you know he allows certain things to happen um, 
And it ultimately gets you to that reward that he gives you for seeking him diligently. So it's never a waste. It's just that it could be very painful going through this walk with God because yeah, you got him. I got him and that's a lot, but that's all I got. Like, if I go to my family or somebody, they're too carnal-minded. Like, I, I don't have nobody to vent to. And it's like I got one person, one person, literally. I got that one good friend like we got in the Bible. You get one good friend here on earth. One that you can trust. The rest of them, they come and they get jealous of the anointing of the favor that God has upon your life. Or the other ones that come and try to use um try to use you basically so you got to say to yourself we can't we don't we can't we're not allowed to and plus god favors us so much we have to stay close to him like we don't we can't keep building all of these friends and stuff like that because they're not listening and being obedient as we are and they're getting things okay so side note this is this is okay lord thank you holy spirit when you're not listening and you're doing what you want to do, it's hot. When you're not listening and you're doing what you want to do, things are coming upon you. Things which we cannot see. The evil, diabolical spirits that we cannot see. The, the darkness, the kingdom of darkness. Demons. It's like squatters. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's, they're called squatters. That's by Praise and Evangelism Miracle Ministries. It's called squatters. And every time you sin, you allow a demon squatter to come in your atmosphere. And when you repent and God cleanse you and you go back to sinning, they come back seven times worse. So now you're fighting all this stuff and you're trying to get it off you. And you got to sit there to God heal you, basically. If you're not strong enough to do it by yourself, you got to go. You got to keep fasting. You got to keep praying. You got to you gotta keep going. It happened to me. It happened to me a lot. It happened to me. And finally, God said, you know what? I'm going to heal you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God says he's going to heal me because he's going to use me. Like how he's using me now. So God had to heal me for his purpose, or he's healing me for his own good. I have to take daily communion to get this kind of favor, guys. That's what I be trying to tell y'all. Y'all be so quick to envy and jealous people, but don't put in the work that that person is doing to get that anointing. Pastor T.D. Jakes was just talking about that. You want his life. You don't want the money that he got. You don't want what you see that we got. Like, you you think you want just the favor and the money that the Lord is getting ready to bless us with or is blessing us with, depending on where you are in your life. But you don't have daily communion, a piece of bread and some grape juice that's represented as Jesus Christ's body, the Savior, the Majesty, the King of Kings. But you want to be on your hands and knees asking for a house? A Bentley, a Rolls Royce, you can't take daily communion. It's, it's a piece of grace. It's a, like, I, I don't understand. He's not asking us to go worship the devil, guys. You want to ask for this girl hand in marriage, but you can't take daily communion? <laughs> oh, this is how the Lord talked to me. This is how I talked to y'all. Exactly how the Lord talked to me. We real over here. Ain't no sugar coating. We I, like we men the Lord. We got a real relationship. <laughs> like, come on, guys. He waiting on all of us. We gotta help each other. Daily communion is very, very important. Very important. Very important. The Holy Spirit was going somewhere else with the squatters, but. I got hot. I got hot real quick. I should take this jacket off, but I gotta get back out and it's windy. Cause I'm getting the food talking to y'all. Oh crap. Oh, I'm about to break this thing. I done broke the thing, y'all. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I fixed it. But anyway. 
don't forget to say your I am affirmations every day. I am humble. I am grateful. I am kind. I am having a good heart today. And then once you pray and you give the Lord, um, you give him thanks and, and you praise and worship him, and you better start speaking your blessings over your life every day. I am going to get blessed today. I am expecting something unexpected from the Lord thy God. Remember, God works based off of how big you think. So if you conform and confine him and say, oh, he's not that big. He will never do something like that for me. He will never do it for you. He will make sure every thought that you think can come true. That's how he is. You have to have faith. And faith, he's saying, is through your actions. It's through your actions. It's in what you're doing. <laughs> I saw this video, right? I'm going to tell y'all. I this is, this is <laughs> I saw this video this morning, and a prophet was telling me that the devil was going to try to trick me. He finna make it seem so good, but it's really he trying to get my soul, right? So, okay, I didn't want to say that. I'm, I'm, I be trying to put people out there, Lord. <laughs> so this person was like, you know what? I'll conform to God. I'll do all this stuff you want me to do if I could just have your hand in marriage. And I said, when we were dating at the time and the Lord told you to do that, you didn't want to do it. You said, this is the person said. The person said, I don't want to, I don't want to convert for one thing. This is a segment to all the women. You are the blessing. You are the blessing. Once you know who you are, once you know that you are the blessing, your life falls into place. You cannot do something and you outsmart God. You cannot outsmart God. You know who I serve? You know who my God is? The uncreated creator. I am <laughs> the Omega and the Alpha. <laughs> Amen. The God that parted the <laughs> sorry, the Holy Spirit speaking. The God that parted the waters for Moses. That's who I serve. The God who called Jeremiah to prophecy to be a prophet. The God who raised Jesus Christ from the dead and put that power inside of me, inside of you as a believer. That's who we serve. You better take communion and respect him. Tell my something you don't want to take, have no daily communion. Try once a week and move your way up. If God give you and and and, and tell you to do something and you tell him you don't want to do it or you tell him how you feel about it, you need to pray for forgiveness and repent after that. Ain't nobody ask you for your opinion. You got to do what he tell you to do. <laughs> That's it, guys. That's my time. The Lord has spoken. Remember to forgive people. I forgive you, brother. I forgive <laughs> I forgive you. Forget, remember, guys, we just forgive everybody. And remember, nothing is too big for God. Nothing is impossible. We serve a God that makes the impossible possible. If you believe, if you don't believe, he don't do for you. That's it. Think positive. If you feel yourself thinking negative, speak over it. That's it. Yeah, you can have take backs. <laughs> you say something and I take it back. I'm speaking the positive over it right now. There is power in your tongue. 
There is power in your tongue, and whatever you're speaking over yourself is going to happen. Now, if you speak it over someone else and they're a child of God, it's going to be reversed back to you. We have a, a reverse power effect on us that's covered by pleading, by us pleading the blood of Jesus. Anytime you do something to us, you're doing it back to yourself in God's timing. He allows it to happen right back to you. So, with that being said, guys, repent. <laughs> Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Claim Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Not in your head, not just from your mouth, from your heart, because that's what he's reading. God is saying, you cannot outsmart, outsmart me. I know what's in your heart. So repent. Ask for forgiveness and allow the Lord to have his way in your life. He will guide you. He will never forsake you. Even if you don't feel him for a second, he's there. He's always there because God never sleeps nor slumbers. So he's always there watching. Repent and ask for forgiveness in Jesus' name. And, and know that Jesus died on a cross for you to be forgiven. For you to live according to his will. Not your will. Not your will, but according to his will. That's what got me right. The Lord showed me, he said, you never know who you're going to save and help or who's waiting on you to be healed so that you can go save them. That's why we plead and conform. It's not for ourselves. It's for the next person. You just never know who waiting on you to get saved. So shalom, guys. Shalom. Have an awesome day.